the Mercedes-Benz G-Class. We've loved this thing for a long time for its rough and tumble nature and its sort of no-nonsense approach to off-roading. But it's also been a very long time since the G-Class has really changed, which is why we're so excited to see this 2019 model. It really is all new. It's longer, wider, lower, with a completely new interior. Let's go take a look at what's different on this one. Up front, things are even nicer for the driver. The old G-Class interior well was starting to feel pretty dated when you saw other Mercedes models, but this one, wow, it's got all the latest features we've seen in cars like the E-Class, CLS, and S-Class. Two big displays up front, this touchpad controller for the infotainment system. But don't worry, things are still pretty tough in here. I've still got my three locking differential switches, this big grab handle for when things get a little exciting off-road, and a very upright, commanding seating position that lets me see out over that hood. When we get inside, you still hear that lovely ka-chunk sound that you've always had on the G-Class. Now, what I notice when I'm in the back seat, though, is more legroom. The wheelbase of this G-Class is 1.6 inches longer than before. Beforehand, there wasn't always that much space in the back row, so I'm definitely a little more comfortable in this one. This G550 launch model in the US comes with a 4-liter bi-turbo V8. I'm very excited by that because that's an engine that's proven to be smooth and full of torque in lots of other Mercedes-Benz products. Now, you probably see the G-Class most often on Rodeo Drive, but it is still meant to go off-road. The approach, departure, and breakover angles have all increased by one degree. There's 3.9 inches more fording capability than before, and like I said before, you still get those three locking differentials. There are some changes to the suspension, though, that focus on on-road performance. There's an independent front suspension now, for instance, and a rack and pinion electromechanical steering setup instead of the older circulating ball. Those should definitely get rid of some of that vagueness and mushiness this thing had on-road before, and hopefully, won't really affect its off-road capability. I'm really looking forward to getting behind the wheel of the 2019 Mercedes G-Class as soon as possible. If you want more information on this or any of the other debuts at this year's Detroit Auto Show, be sure to visit us at motorone.com.